Hey guys, my name is Paul. This is where Nerd is Cool. Today we're going to finish up the charge bay indicator um, installation. Uh, we have the electronics all done. We have a little bit of uh, uh, minor work to do before we can install everything and call it good. So let's get it done. So we are going to put some hot glue where these connectors are and you'll notice that I'm in my living room because that happens to be where R2-D2 is. I can't get R2 downstairs to the shop, um, just too much weight. So um, if you're going to do this kind of stuff in your living room, take some precautions. I got the hot glue gun sitting on a piece of plywood here so I'm not ruining any furniture. And then what we'll do is we'll put a little drizzle through here so that we can look. You will be happy and stay put and never cause us any grief. And we're going to do the same on this side. A little blob here. Same thing with the pins. Oh, the pins are pretty long, so I'm hoping that the, right there will help. But, and I'm trying to avoid this big stringy booger. All right. So we will give that a moment to harden. And then of course, before you get too carried away with all this work, what we'll do is we'll power it up and make sure that everything is working uh, before we press on to the next step. But that right there, just adding that hot glue is going to do a world of wonders, uh, especially being inside the body when R2 is rolling and bouncing around. You know, it can work these connectors loose. So that blob of hot glue will, will make a big difference. Uh, that is just about done. And what I'll do is I'm just gonna power this up and got a light here, we got lights there, so that looks good. So now we'll proceed to the next step. Okay, now the real fun. So what I have here is I have picked up the, of course the lighting's not gonna pick it up, but uh, this is the Loctite Super Glue. It's ultra gel control. And what we're gonna do, let's see, let's make sure power is off and this is kind of the part that's going to require a little finesse, and I'm probably going to cast a lot of shadows while doing it. But what I'm going to do, all right, going to move the individual lights out of the way. And then what we're going to do is down there is the first one I want to get. Okay, yellow. Nope, I need. So we're gonna... Okay, and then one is in. I'll rinse and repeat for the next two. Okay, so the LEDs are working. And actually, you can see it's working because my battery is a little bit low on power, and that's why we have red, yellow, but not green. Now, I said I was going to do this with super glue, and I changed my mind. And I'm going to try to work the camera in here so you can see what I did. Okay, so here's where I cheated. So I got those three LEDs in there. I didn't, maybe the gel wasn't thick enough. I didn't like, I didn't feel like it was really going to stay. So. I worked the hot glue gun in from the top, and again, it was a lot of maneuvering, and I just kind of gave it a squirt, and as you can see, that bead hit the top and rolled right down. So those are in there, and they're not going to go anywhere, so I can call that part done. Okay, I'm trying to work in a lot of lights and a little bit of space here. All right, so these are the uh, uh, power connectors that will go uh, to the back of the fuse block, and what we have... And again, this was 3D printed, it's just a regular uh, Uno holder, but we have the plastic Velcro. And you can find this stuff at Lowe's. Um, this batch, I happened to get at Radio Shack before they closed a couple years ago. But it's the plastic, so it's definitely got some pretty aggressive teeth. Um, and the other side is also plastic down there, and it just holds super well. Uh, if you're going to copy this method, I just wouldn't use the type that has, you know, has the plastic on one side and the cloth on the other. Uh, it says it can hold quite a bit, but my experience has been that it's not built for droids. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this guy uh, into the side of the frame. And hopefully you can see that, but if not, I'll describe it to you. All right, let's make sure. And there. All right. So these power connectors are gonna have to work their way out the back here. And there we go. And what I'll do is, uh, let me take another shot here. Okay, pardon the wobble here with the, uh, holding my hands. But uh, there it is, all mounted up. And uh, I just gotta do a little bit of wire maintenance. Those uh, black and red on the uh, lower right are my power cords, so I have to work those into my fuse block. But uh, looking good, almost done. It's not the prettiest wiring job in the world. I got a, as you can see, uh, I got some management work I need to do here, but uh, yep, that's the business end of the electrical system right here. All right, I'm going to, off camera, clean up these cables a little bit, and uh, then we'll uh, take a look inside. Okay, so the leads going to here are gonna stay on the right side of the droid next to the actuator, and you can see the yellow lead and everything else is good, it's kind of out of the way the battery, so that's good, so I'm happy with that. Could always be better, but for now, that's pretty darn good. All right, it's all done. Um, the electronics are safe, the wiring is, a, is in a good position. The Uno is mounted to the side of the frame. That's not gonna move, that's in a good spot. The lighting is working, so I would say success. The uh, individual LEDs, those three, uh, are not only super glued, but they're also uh, hot glued in there as well too. Uh, kind of had to improvise a little bit there, but yeah, success. So um, I think that's gonna work just fine for uh, quite some time. And uh, we'll get back to the electronics bay and uh, make some changes in the future. So on the right is where you can subscribe so you can see all of my wonderful nerdy goodness. I thank you for watching. And remember, this is where nerdy is cool.